Namaste, this is Monica and I welcome you to today's practice. So today's practice is focused on hamstrings, loosening up your hamstrings and I thought I should do this uh, particular session for everybody because when I started my yoga practice, for me the most challenging part was hamstrings. And what happens when you don't have loose hamstrings, you also get a lot of strain in your lower back when you do yoga practice. Uh, so any of the asanas, especially the seated forward folds, any of the forward folds, uh, if your hamstrings are tight, you will definitely strain your lower back and your hips. So working on the hamstrings is something that will in long term not only release your hamstrings, uh, it will also take a lot of pressure away from your lower back and your hips when you practice anything like you know whether it's yoga practice or any general movement in your daily life, right? So let us get started and let us meet on the mat. So to begin with, we will first start a practice with breath awareness. You can choose your sitting position. You can sit over a cushion in a cross leg position or you can sit in Vajrasana like I'm sitting if it is comfortable for you. You can also choose to place cushion up between your hips and your heels if you're sitting in Vajrasana because that will give some nice lifting to your chest and your hips. So you can also choose to get into child pose if you want to get into child pose by sitting over your heels and then you stretch your arms out and allow your chest to sink down on your mat and relax so choosing your position allow your spine to relax your shoulders to relax and let us begin to ground ourselves to center ourselves by watching our breath so we are taking all the attention all our focus towards our breath withdrawing everything all thoughts which are wandering outside we are drawing withdrawing them back to ourselves and just watching whatever your breath is right now the natural rhythm just follow that without feeling the need to interfere because your mind will definitely feel the need to interfere it may want to make it deeper, it may want to make it shallower, whatever you feel that your breath is not perfect and you want to alternate it. But right now we are not doing any of that, we are just simply watching our breath. You may want to feel the subtle sensation in your nostrils as you inhale and exhale. Feeling the beauty or feeling yourself, feeling the subtle things in our body connecting at subtlest level. Allow your body weight to sink down on your mat or on the ground. And with this grounding and centering, let us set us let us also set an intention for ourselves to, to stay mindful of our breath, of our body throughout the practice. With that, let us join our palms together. We'll be chanting one oh. To begin a session, take a deep breath in. And as 
you exhale, you can open your eyes. So let us begin our practice now. Stretch your legs out. You can sit over the cushion again. If you're feeling your lower back is rolling back, then sitting over the cushion, the edge of the cushion, making sure that your cushion is hard, hard in the sense it is firm so that your hips are not uneven. Now from here, you would bend your right knee, catch hold of your right foot. You can interlace your fingers, hug your foot. Uh, that's option number one. Option number two, you can also use the belt. So if you have a towel, scarf, anything around you, you can grab that and wrap it around your feet. Okay, and then you can exhale to stretch your leg out. And that is how we are also working on a hamstring. And then if it is possible for you, pulling it towards your chest. So stop wherever you feel that you are getting enough stretch. So choose your variation, whichever you're doing. If your knee is bent, and if you're still getting the stretch in your hamstrings, that's okay. Feel free to keep your knee bent. We are not pushing ourselves. We are simply trying to work on our hamstrings slowly and gradually. A regular practice is required. So we cannot just achieve it all in one session. <sighs> Breathe all the way down to your hamstring. And as you exhale, bend your knee, release your belt, stretch your right leg, bend your left knee. Again, choose your variation. If you are hugging your foot, you can do that or use the belt. I prefer using the belt because it kind of helps me to keep my chest open and I can also keep my spine straight and lift it. I'm also getting a nice stretch in my hamstring so the belt the support of belt is solving all the purpose that I need sometimes our mind can resist using the usage of props because you know it wants to do it all it doesn't want to take support so be mindful of that usage of props is really good especially you know if it is if you are compromising on your alignment uh, it's better that you have a better alignment with usage of prop than compromising on that so you can tell your mind it's okay to take support it's okay to take help you don't have to do it all by yourself And as you breathe out, release. Release and stretch your legs out again. Now from here, moving to your force. We'll work a little bit on our spine because we are going to do some standing asanas for our hamstrings. So the loosening up of spine always helps in that. So you can bring your shoulders above your wrist, bring your knees above your, bring your knees right below your hips, align yourself, press your palms down, fingers wide spread on the mat. Press your chest down, inhale to lift your chin and arc your spine. Exhale, taking your tailbone down, chin to your chest, lift your spine and relax your shoulders. Inhale up. Exhale, back. Inhale, up. Exhale, back. Inhale, up. Exhale, back. Inhale. Exhale, back, inhale, up, exhale, back. Coming to the center, tuck your toes, lift your knees up, taking those hips back to come into downward dog. So from here, we are going to loosen up our hamstrings one by one. So walking your right knee in while sending your spine back, sending your hips back, deepening the stretch in your left hamstring. Breathe, keep breathing, feeling the stretch. 
in the beginning if you have to keep your knee slightly bent that's okay feel free to do that we are trying to open we are not already open and that's why we are working on it so just remembering that without pushing yourself keep feeling the stretch that you are trying to take for your hamstring and taking your left knee in stretching the right hamstring from here your abdomen might be resting on your left thigh Keep sending those hips back, feeling the stretch in your arms. And placing your left heel back also down on the mat, staying in downward dog for some time. Feel free to keep your knees slightly bent as long as you're getting some stretch in your hamstrings. You can bend your knees from here start walking to the top of your mat and as you inhale head up look up so we'll stay here again working on a hamstrings now over here if you want you can place your palms on the blocks if you have blocks around you I have two blocks so you can use the block or you can place your palms over your shin look up and keeping your back flat so if you feel you're rounding your back, then it's okay to bend your knees slightly, making sure that you're still getting the stretch in your hamstrings. So choose your variation, hands on your shin or on the palm or on the block and head up, keeping your back flat. And relax your shoulders. And breathe all the way to your hamstrings. So you're focusing on your hamstrings. Whatever you focus on automatically, your whole body starts to work towards that. And that's why whatever you're practicing on, keeping your focus in that particular body part is important. Because you're sending all your energy to that body part. For it to heal, for it to release, for it, for it to behave in a way that you want it to behave, right? So that's why make sure that you're focusing on what you're working on. And your mind is right here with our body. And from here, you will start exhaling and then heading, putting your head in crown of your head pointing down towards the mat even if you have to bend your knees slightly do that you can cross your arms and allow the gravity to work on the top of your head a nice passive stretch to your hamstrings here body uh, body weight equally distributed between both of your feet the front and the back of your foot has equal distribution so you're not putting more weight on your toes or on your heels divide it and stay here so you can see even my knees are slightly bent because you know I'm doing this practice in the morning my hamstrings are tight and I would allow them to loosen up first before I start straightening my knee I would definitely make sure that my knees are safe my lower back is safe and for that if you have to bend your knees that's okay relax your shoulders and from here you can start rolling up coming all the way up into Tadasana hands on the side open your chest tailbone tucked in relax relax your shoulders and breathe now 
now from here stepping your feet hip distance apart so you can check the distance with your pelvic bone so so much distance is okay between your feet hands on your hips inhale to lift your chest and as you exhale lead through your chest to fold forward again if you have to bend your knees feel free to do that and you can release your arms place them on your shin ankle if it is possible for you hook your toes lift your hooks pull your hooks look up stay here or bend your elbows to bring your head down pointing your crown of your head down to the floor again make sure that you're following the variation that your body is allowing right now and breathe focus on your breath Inhale to look back up, hands on your hips, coming all the way up, moving to Trikonasana, beautiful stretch for your hamstrings, feet hip dis uh, three feet distance apart from each other, you can keep your feet parallel to each other and turning your right foot out, your heel is meeting the midline of your left foot, stretch your arms in a T shape looking at your right palm and from here as you inhale stretch up, stretch the right side of your body. And as you exhale, bending over to your right, if you want to come down, you can bend your knee and then come down. Maybe hands on your thighs or on your shin and then try and stretch, straighten your knee as much as you can. So choosing your variation here, if you want, you can use a block to place your palm over the block. Pressing your chest back, keeping both of your legs nice and active. So you can also bring the right pelvic forward. You may be feeling it is going back or you're falling forward. That's when we are bringing awareness. So even if you're up, it's okay. Stay higher up. The right alignment is better to safeguard us, to safeguard ourselves, having a nice, safe practice. And as you inhale, come up, change the side, turn your right foot in and left foot out. Stretch your arms and as you exhale, bend over to your left. Right arm up or on your hips, choose your variation. This is a beautiful asana. So this you will find in all the sequences because it works on so many levels on your body. It is working on your hips, working on your lower back on your spine it is working on your inner groin working on your hamstrings like what not and one of every every yogi's favorite asana i'm sure and as you inhale come up so in this trikonasana actually you can also find your gaze point up when you take your arm up or in the center so it depends i usually don't suggest this one if you're going to hold for longer because then your neck will kind of like get strained so you can look forward so if you're holding an asana for longer it's better to keep it on your hips turning your right foot in and increase the distance between your foot about four feet distance keeping your feet parallel to each other again and place your hands on your hips as you exhale start folding forward so i'm not taking my hips back when i'm folding forward they are in line with my heels as i go down now over here you may feel that you're rounding your back and going down if you're doing that stop that self we are leading through the chest so lead through the chest and as long as you feel your spine is going straight down you take and the moment you feel you're rounding then you stop there you can place your hands on your uh, maybe thighs slightly bend your knees but making sure that you're also getting the stretch in your hamstring or if you want use the blocks and you can just rest your fingers over the block and hold making sure you're getting some stretch so to deepen the stretch you can decrease the height of the block bringing your uh, chest down choose whichever works for you or maybe staying in the center. And 
and as you inhale look back up walk your palms forward and allow your chest to sink down again bending your knees slightly is okay relax your shoulders and inhale to look back up walk your palms back bend your knees hands on your hips to come all the way up now from here step to the top of your mat we will take a round of vinyasa so you can raise your arms up to join your palms together and as you exhale fold forward inhale look up half lift exhale coming to your plank lower down choose your variation your knees chest to chin or you can directly come down to chaturanga inhale lift your chest exhale tuck your toes downward dog and from here you can cross your legs to sit down on your mat so again i will suggest to sit on the cushion the edge of the cushion you can always have a folded blanket that also works really well pressing your knees down feeling the pressing the knees down place your hands on the side and start tilting your pelvic forward you will feel that you'll start to feel the stretch in your hamstring or if you want you can place your hands on your thighs or on your shin so just tilting the pelvic forward here while also trying to press the knees down towards the floor when i say try press these words use them very very subtly because when we hear here try press push we feel like really going overboard with things so that is not the intention here just subtle press subtle trying relax your shoulders you can stay here or you can also use the bell to wrap it around your feet and pull the bell towards your chest opening your chest tilting that pelvic forward you can stay in the center as well if you're getting enough stretch here so whichever variation works for you And as you exhale, release this. Now we are going to bend both of our knees. Rest your, rest your abdomen over your thighs. Lift your toes up okay, and place your palms under your foot. Okay, so your wrist is touching your toes. And then you can either slide your leg one by one or together that doesn't matter but making sure that your abdomen is still in touch with your thighs the moment you feel that your stomach is going away from your thighs stop there and keep straightening until that touch is there yeah and just stop wherever you think it's separating so you should be feeling a nice stretch in your hamstrings here as well Again, relaxing your shoulders and your jaw and see if you have any kind of resistance that you are resisting and you're just waiting for asana to get over. So which means, you know, the mind is not willing to go through the feeling of the sensation or the pain that we are feeling right now. So breathe all the way down to those sensations, to your hamstrings. And as you inhale, look back up, release, straightening your knees again and stay, stay in the center. Just relaxing your lower back for a moment. And let us move to the next one. Again, you can continue to sit over the cushion if you want. Extend your legs out, bending your right knee, bringing it, placing your right knee on the floor or if you want, you can place a cushion, opening your left leg. So choose your variation if you want a cushion block under your knee 
And now from here, start walking your palms to your left, feeling the stretch in your hamstring. Bending your knees slightly, it's perfectly fine, no problem at all. You can also open your right shoulder while you're, if you want to stretch the right side of your body, so opening your right shoulder, maybe placing your right arm behind you, the back of your palm facing the lower back. If you want, you can place your palm over your toes. So your wrist is touching your toes. And as you inhale, come back to the center. Let us change the side. Choosing your variation here. And again, inhale, come back up, opening both of your legs. Again, a beautiful stretch for your hamstrings. Some of you, if you feel too tight, you can bend your knees, place your hands behind you, sit here. Those who can straighten your knees, you don't have to open so much, you can open less, that's okay. So the center point of your heels is on the floor and then you start walking your palms forward or you can just stay in the center if you're getting enough stretch here itself. Sitting over the cushion would be the best option here if your lower back is pulling back, if you feel that your lower back is consistently being pulled back. You can place your palms over your thighs, your shin, wherever and hold. You can stop wherever you feel. You can place your forearms. Some of you may be able to go all the way down. You can do that. Staying here for a bit longer. So for hip openings, also also for hamstrings, yin yoga is one of the really great practice. Uh, I have sessions on yin yoga if you want. You can practice that where we hold our asanas for about three to five minutes. But all the asanas are mostly done on the floor. So you can really go through that and see if that works for you. And place your palms back. To walk your palms back again. Place your palms under your knees and slide your legs towards you. So we are just making some small movement in our groin so you can bring your heels closer to your sit bones and then you can either stay in the center keeping your knees on both sides, place the cushion under your knees if needed, stay in the center or maybe walking forward again. And again, place your palms back, bring your knees together, moving to another asana. So coming on your force for that, and then take your right leg, back, right leg forward in between your palms. If you have to walk your palms forward a bit, it's okay. Slide your leg forward, making sure your hips are still aligned with the back knee. Now over here, since our knee is going to be on the floor for a long time, support it with a cushion or you can fold your, you can fold your mat itself to make sure that you have enough cushioning for your knee here. Okay, so stay here. If you want, you can place blocks on either side. In case if you're not, your arms are not reaching down, you're rounding your back too much. Keeping your block is great. And then start taking your chest down to deepen the stretch and find the position wherein it's, it's okay for you to hold. If 
if you are pressing your palms down then pressing the fingertips down relaxing your shoulders this is a beautiful hamstring stretch you can do this kind on the wall also or if you have a balcony uh, you can place your foot over the railing and then start folding forward so it really works on your hamstrings And slide your right leg back, left leg forward. Great, slide your left leg back. Again, now we will move to lie down on our back. We are going to use the belt here. I mean, you can use the hook or the, if you have a towel, scarf, whatever, you can use that. So once you lie down on your back, extend your left leg, bend your right knee, use the belt to wrap it around. I have, I have covered this in many sessions. This is also one of the great asanas that you can do. So you wrap the belt around right under your toes on the mount of your toes, yeah? And then stretch your knee as much as you can. Slide your arms down and hold. So when you're doing this, you will you can also slightly push the toe, the belt away with your mount. Uh, that kind of creates a nice uh, stretch for your hamstring, like a better stretch for your hamstrings. So there's the opposite force. There's this arms pulling down. Your toes are kind of like pushing up to the ceiling. So you can feel. You try and see how you feel about it. And from here, you can catch hold of your belt with one palm, maybe wrapping it around your right palm. And then we'll start dropping a leg to our right. Right, so as much as is it possible for you. If you want to support this leg with the cushion underneath, you can do that. But we, the, our purpose is to feeling that stretch in the hamstring itself. And bend your right knee to bring it back in the center. Let's change the side. Keeping your other leg also active.
one from here again drop to the side So how much belt that you need to push, how much your leg should be up, down, that depends on how much stretch that at the present moment that you can take, your body allowing, you take. At the same time making sure that we are not cheating ourselves by being too comfortable because we are here to work. Bend your knee to come back in the center. Release, stretch your arms out. Let us move to Shavasana. Let us relax. If you want, you can shake your legs, shake your arms to loosen up. You can throw your legs away to loosen up. Whew. And drop your legs down. If you want, you can again support your knees with the cushion. If you want your lower back to be touching down on the ground, otherwise you can simply lie down in whatever position that feels perfect for you right now to relax because it is about relaxation. It is not about rules and regulations. Relaxation doesn't have rules. It is free. So just relax in the way you want to. And you may want to follow my voice to relax your each and every body part. So, maybe taking your awareness to your toes to relax your toes. Relax your feet, your ankles. Relax your shin, your calf. Go up to your knees to relax your knees. Relax your thighs, the front and the back of your thighs. Relax your hips, your groin. Relax your lower back. Relax your abdomen, the sides of your rib cage. Take your awareness to your chest, to the heart center, to relax and relax your shoulders, your upper back. And sweep your awareness through your arms, to your palms and fingers, allowing them to relax. Take your awareness to your neck and face, to relax your neck and face. The center point between your eyebrows, your forehead, the crown of your head. And sweep your awareness back to your face, your neck, your shoulders, your hands, palms, fingers, your chest, your upper back, the sides of your ribcage, the lower back, abdomen, your hips, your pelvis. Your thighs, knees, scarf, shin, your ankles, your feet, and your toes. Release if you're still holding any tension. And allow yourself to relax in silence for some time with you, with your breath.
you want you can continue in shavasana or if you would like to come out bring your awareness back to your surroundings move your toes and fingers gently oh, and move your head from one side to the other making whatever movement that you feel necessary right now you feel like making bring your feet together stretch your arms up stretch 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 and release Pulling over to your right. Take your time and whenever you feel ready, come up. Absorb your practice. I really hope you have enjoyed this practice with me. If you have, you can hit the like button. You can also subscribe to my channel. Let us seal our practice for today with one Om. You can join your palms together to the heart center, taking a deep breath in. Thank you. If you have any questions, you can put them in comment section. If I know, I would definitely come back to you. Otherwise, I'll find the answer for you. And with that, I wish you a wonderful day ahead and I hope to see you soon again. Bye-bye.